All right, today we're gonna to be unboxing a Canik TP9 SFX. This is part of Canik's new line of signature series, as you can see on the box there. And this is the whiteout version. So you get a matching box uh, that matches all of the included accessories and everything else inside. So first up here, you're gonna get a little envelope with a card asking you to join the NRA, a certificate of authenticity from Canic, uh, just denoting the number. So this the signature series, like this whiteout one, is a limited line of 7,500. And you also get a TP9 SFX manual. Canix manuals are always pretty good. They use uh, illustrations or pictures instead of actual photos. And then in the back, they also always include a exploded view of all the different parts, as well as all the different part numbers. And then they also have a Magwell assembly card. So with the signature series, you get a matching patch tool, as you can see here, and this is not Cerakoted, this is the actual color of the plastic, and a cleaning brush. Get one additional back strap, and four whiteout Cerakoted optic plates. Down here, the gun's going to ship with two magazines. You get one 18 round magazine with round indicators on the back and also a whiteout colored base plate. And this is a Cerakoted base plate. Then you also get another 18 round magazine with a plus three base plate. That is also Cerakoted. The Canic logo on the bottom and round indicators on the back side. Both of the magazines have black followers. You're also gonna get a whiteout magazine loader. It's just gonna assist you in pushing the follower down and loading those uh, rounds into the magazine. And here you're going to get a little toolkit with additional fiber optic uh, blades for your front sight, and then a trigger well block. And then also, like most other Canics, a holster. And this is an outside the waistband holster, and it is also colored in that whiteout color. And this is not Cerakoted, this is the actual color of the polymer. So let me get this box out of the way and then we'll start going over the features of the TP9 SFX. Okay, got everything out of the way. So here is the Canic TP9 SFX signature series in a whiteout color. So a lot of the marketing materials did showcase a more white color and I'm hoping this shows in the camera, but this is more or less a very light gray. So as you can see next to my white table right there, it's a very light gray color. Looks slightly different in person than what I'm seeing in the screen right here. So the barrel here is going to feature a 5.20 inch barrel, and it is a nitride finished barrel. So very slick black. Let me get some of that oil off so you can see the barrel. Very slick black finish. Nitride is typically known for its uh, clean 
and long lasting abilities for uh, wear, uh, nitro is very easy to clean. So the slide here, I can, I'm already getting it dirty, aren't I? Uh, the slide here, uh, just like Canic always does, this is a nitride underneath uh, with Cerakote on top. So they describe that as Cerakote over nitride finish. And as you can see on the slide there on the side, it says Signature Series. And on the front of the slide, you can see the production number out of 7,500. So this one is 2,154. So the slide's gonna feature slide serrations on both the rear as well as the front. And you can also see on the top there, to reduce glare, it has serrations on the top. And you also get lightning cuts on the top side of the slide. And then all of the logos, Canic logo, and everything is all color filled with black. So the sights here are gonna be worn tactical sights. That rear one is adjustable. It is just black in color, no serrations in the rear. And then the front is a serrated front sight with fiber optic. And this one, both of them are both uh, worn tactical sights. And then obviously you're gonna have your removable rear slide plate to attach your optic plates or any of your, your red dots. So the frame is gonna feature th a three section Picatinny rail. And it's also finished in the white out Cerakote and has a uh, Canix nice, I would say slightly aggressive grip texture, the, the sides anyways. And you also have that on the sides on the frame for your sport thumb. And then there's that removable back strap. It would have been nice if these were uh, Cerakoted in that white out color, but not a big deal. Maybe it's nice to have a little bit of contrast. And then the front just uh, directional square texturing. And then the bottom has a removable uh, or interchangeable uh, magwell that's also in that white out color. So your controls up front here, you're gonna have your uh, takedown lever and you're gonna pull that on both sides. Your trigger. So as you can see there, it has the safety blade in that white out color. You have a very extended magazine release. And inside of that little toolbox that was in the box, uh, that's gonna have additional um, magazine releases. And that is reversible to the other side. And on the side here, you're gonna get pretty extended I would say uh, slide stop, slide release. As you can see on the side, it's nicely checkered right there, uh, but very easy to manipulate on the side. And on the rear, you're gonna have a striker indicator. This just indicates that the firearm is uh, able to be fired. So you can view that as a hammer to the rear, so right there. And then when you pull the trigger, if I can pull it with this screen thing, so you can see that striker indicator goes away. Let me show you how the magazines look. So this is the regular 18 round, basically flush fit right there and they drop free. And this is the 18 plus three. Not too bad of an extension. So 21 rounds out of this one. All right, if you guys have any questions on the Canic TP9 SFX signature series and whiteout, drop a comment down below.
thank you for watching